ticks a very serious threat to your dog health ticks are very serious threat to your dog's health they are very 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 serious trouble when they attack dogs there are ways to get rid of as well as prevent these tiny pets from threatening your dog head. Ticks are not insect like fleas but arach arachnids like mites, spiders and scorpions. A tick has one piece body happen like barbs around its mouth to attach to a host for feeding. Crab like legs and a sticky secretion to help hold itself to the host. The United States has about 200 tick species whose habitats include wood, beach grass, lawns, forests, and even in some urban areas. They have a four-stage life cycle, egg, larvae, nymphs, and adults. Depending on its species, a tick may take less than a year or up to several years to go through its four-stage life cycle. Adult females of some species lay about 100 eggs at a time, others lay 3,000 to 6,000 eggs per batch. Ticks can carry various infectious organisms that can transmit diseases to cats and dogs, as well as humans. The four primary diseases and their symptoms are Barbiciosis, lethargy, loss of appetite, weakness, pale gums are the symptoms. Early Kiosis, eye fever, muscle aches are the symptoms. Limb disease, lameness, swollen, joint fever, poor appetite, fatigue, vomiting. Tick paralysis the dog when this occurs in them. The next type of disease is tick paralysis in dogs. And this brings gradual paralysis and poor coordination. Of the four diseases, Lyme disease is the worst, as it can also infect humans. Studies indicate that dogs are 50% more susceptible to this disease than humans. Lyme disease is transmitted through the bite of the deer tick, also called the black-legged tick. Symptoms in humans include fatigue, chills and fever, headache, muscle and joint pain, swollen lymph nodules, and a red circular skin rash. In June 1992, in USDA, licensed a vaccine to prevent Lyme disease in dogs. There is no vaccine for cats yet. If dog is outside regularly, ask the veterinarian about the Lyme disease vaccine. Watch for the symptoms mentioned earlier. And if you suspect a tick-borne disease, get your dog to the vet immediately. With early diagnosis, antibiotics generally work. If possible, dogs should be kept out of tick-infested areas. In areas where ticks are prevalent, yards where dogs exercise should be treated with appropriate chemicals to kill adult and immature ticks. Dogs should be examined frequently for the presence of ticks on their bodies. Ticks prefer sheltered locations, such as inside the ears and between the toes of host, but a heavily infested dog may have ticks anywhere on its body. When a tick is found, it should be removed immediately. The proper way to remove a tick is to use fine point tweezers, grasping the tick as close to the skin as possible and pull gently. If the tick's mouth parts remain embedded in the animal's skins, you should try to remove them as you will a splinter. Alcohol or other disinfectant should be used on the bite side, the tweezers and your hands if you do not wear gloves. Tick can survive and will survive after they are removed from the host. You should flush the tick down to toilet or drown them in a small container of alcohol. You should never squeeze a tick as it will release toxin that may contain any of the diseases discussed earlier. Hundreds of pestilence are repellent and available to control ticks and dogs. 
if you want to get more click the link below